Hey, what is up guys? It is War Helmets, and today I'm coming to you guys with another YouTube video. Um, before I start everything, I wanted to say Happy Easter and Passover to all my subscribers on here. Um, the ones that are following me on Instagram and the ones that just found me through YouTube. Um, wish you guys a happy holidays. So, um, today we're going to be looking at a original United States Marine Corps M 1941 Haversack, or also known as the Upper Pack. Um, basically used in combat by United States Marines from basically since forever. I mean, since Guadalcanal all the way through, and you'll see these M1941s in Vietnam as well. I'm not like 100% like um, in tune. I'm, I know a lot about helmets, but I'm just starting to get into like collecting field gear and stuff and equipment. But um, here's my first M1941 pack. This is the second pattern. And this one's dated 1943, and I'll show it to you guys. So here's the pack. I can lift this up a little bit. Um, you can see right here, this is for the shovel. Let's move this over. So this is for the shovel, where you put the shovel on, and the, uh, the M1910 cover attaches to here with the shovel. Right here is where your bayonet would go. So I'd imagine probably a 16 inch would be best in here. Um, or you could put a 10 inch, whichever one. But uh, probably a 16 inch would go best with this one. Um, I believe this is for tying down your actual uh, shovel so it doesn't f like uh, flop around and stuff. Um, I believe these two straps are for uh, the, the lower pack, which is the knapsack which could also be worn by itself just like this, but you typically in combat will see men using the haversack instead of the knapsack. Um, I believe marching is with the haversack and the knapsack. But um, here you attach the, um, the lower pack and it would go right here. See? I'll flip it around. And you can see the straps. You can see a lot of damage and stuff. Um, See right here, I believe this is for um, tying down the uh, the shelter half, I believe. I'm not sure, but the shelter half like goes around like that. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% correct. Um, I believe this is for actually attaching to your cartridge belt, which I'm not 100% sure. Um, I know Marines would actually cut these off because they were uncomfortable in combat. Uh, Here's the hole, and I believe this is blood. I'm not 100% certain. Um, I hope not. You can see some more, um, you know, damage. Uh, this one's a big one, right here. But I mean, it's pretty sturdy because um, without this, it's like reinforcement right here. If you guys can see, um, I believe that this pack wouldn't be able to like actually. I feel like this would rip easily, but um. It won't. I, I'm thinking about actually um, stitching these back, like up to here, so it could be a little bit, you know, more sturdy. This is gonna be part of my um, my actual uh, display that I'm doing. Now the coolest part about this is the guy's service number. So it says five nine seven five zero six. So this guy um, enlisted in early World War II, so either late 1941 or I'd assume mid 1942. I have to do research. Um, if anyone's able to like actually like, contact me like um, DM me on Instagram or uh, just message me down in the comment section about how I could figure out like the guy's name and everything it would be great so I could get some information on the guy see where he served and everything so um, yeah it's very cool I really like it so uh, I'm just gonna take these out and I'll show you the inside nothing really special on the inside You just flip it, and uh, there is the dating. Boyd 1943 with the nice United States Marine Corps staffing. Very nice. You can see the hole going through it. Um, some more tearing over here. Some more staining. Inside. You can see these bunny ears flip out, flap out. I'm calling them bunny ears, but uh, no pun intended, because it's April 1st. And it's Easter. Some hair in there. It's interesting. So there's the inside. Very nice. Um, there's no other numbers. Actually, there is right there. It's one five eight four. So maybe it was issued all over again. I'm not sure. Um, the only way to find it is if I actually get like some 
Casualty Records or something like that for this man. Oh, let's see, it's like black and brass, I believe. Um, you usually find, I believe this is the second pattern version, and you can see it's kind of like an orange trim around it um, in the sunlight. It's really orange. Um, but I believe this is the second pattern. The first version is basically uh, pretty much the same, except um, these are different. And then the third and like you know the later ones like 44 and 45, they aren't like with these bunny ears, so you don't flap them and feel like that. It's like one whole thing. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show this quick video before I actually um, go on a little field trip um, tomorrow morning. So I wanted to show it off. Um, I still need few more things for my display. I need the actual shovel. I need a, um, I need the M1941, uh, suspenders. I need a lot of stuff, actually. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks guys for watching. Um, hope you guys have a great Easter, and I'll see you guys later.